Hi, dear loves, I'm Nicole, and this is our daily spiritual guidance. We're going to try this out. We tested it out this summer on Instagram because I was receiving so many requests to please do it, and I'm so grateful. I am so grateful for all of you just welcoming me into your spiritual ascension and your awakening. And so let's call on Divine Source and pray that I'm able to do this as well. I welcome all of your beautiful prayers and, and light energy. And I just send it right out back to you in warm, warm love and bright, bright light. Thank you so much. Heavenly angels, thank you. Please show us our spiritual guidance for March 13th. This is a release. Today is release, let go. It's a karmic release that has begun. It can be challenging with the page of air energy. Logical, honest, impulsive, very curious energy. We can have that delay or changes to our plans. And this is the truth being delivered without tact but you know what this energy is full of the keen eyesight of the great white wolf anything that we began in January uh, the wolf's eyes there are garnet and that is January's crystal uh, birthstone um, anyone that is uh, has Capricorn energy very high Capricorn energy or who is I feel in relationship with the Capricorn. Watch that arguing. This is a time of release. You may be releasing relationships um, that have culminated from yesterday's full moon, Virgo energy. We're still feeling it. Sometimes that, that Virgo energy can come like the Barracuda. So, you know, anyone with high Virgo energy might be the one that delivers it. This can be an air sign that delivers that, that delivers it. It's the page of air. So this can be that energy out there. And but this is a brilliant new start. So you've already begun these plans with Pegasus there and the unicorn. You see Pegasus' unicorn is brilliant, beautiful, bright light. And you've got the sharp sword here that says you're ready to speak your truth. This is the throat chakra. And this is just speak your truth and be honest. What is it that you're feeling? Don't hold it in. Be vulnerable to that energy. And you're strong. You're very strong. You're ready. You've got the courage of the lion there. And this is being able to articulate it very well. So you may have strong Aquarius energy, Gemini energy, Libra energy. Or you may be in talks and communication with, at a standstill, in a conflict with, any of that, a strong air sign there. And so that standstill may be what's representing that need to be vulnerable and seek the high road. Because with the keen eyesight of the great white wolf, you've got that intellect. You're very intuitive. And you have that understanding of which way to go. So be curious with the energy I feel. And really honor your intuition because it's time for you to go on and make that decision and call on Archangel Uriel. Work with Archangel Uriel, absolutely. And let's ask who else we can work with to really manage through this energy. Thank you so much. Thank you. This is a warrior energy. And you've got the bear claw there, which means you've got that determination. 
Thank you so much. Motivation. Archangel Metatron. So watch the pattern. Chakra clearing. Speak your truth. This is our throat chakra. So I want you to start doing this. This is your throat chakra and reflexology. So not just for today, but going forward. This is a great practice to have. If you notice that your throat, you know, you're clearing your throat a lot. Just begin to do this. You may find when you're suppressing something in and you're afraid to be vulnerable, which we've all gone through. But as a, as a certified assertiveness coach, I want to encourage you to exercise your throat chakra by this right here. And know that there is a difference between being passive aggressive and aggressive. And just being right in the middle is speaking your truth and saying, as I speak my truth, I encourage others to do the same. Or I encourage others to speak their truth. I find serenity in saying how I feel. And you can always say, I feel and whatever that is afterwards for example lapis blue lapis is the throat chakra and this is a beautiful stone that helps you speak your truth and so as i feel it i'm going to put myself right in it in order to exercise my throat chakra and speak my truth and assert myself and stand up for myself and these are just ways that you may find helpful in helping you do the same because it's hard when you have to tell someone any information or you hear challenging information, it almost makes your throat close up. And this is air energy, which is intellectual, which is communication. And so someone may have heard some really challenging information yesterday. It could have come to you in yourself because... What surfaced yesterday from the Virgo full moon is very inward and could present that struggle in why you're out of balance. What is stressing you out lately? So as I hold this blue lapis, I feel rigid. I feel hard. I feel... cold. I feel heavy. I feel smooth. I feel bumpy. I feel like a piece of me is missing. And so Archangel Metatron is our tree of life. And when you work with Archangel Metatron, Archangel Metatron shows us the patterns in our everyday occurrence. And so watch out for the anomaly. There is a delay or a change to your plans. That delay is going to represent that anomaly. And call upon Archangel Metatron to clear and open your chakras using sacred geometric shapes. So if you have any of your crystals, if you have a bracelet, if you have earrings that you particularly are fond of, if you have any type of jewelry, a ring that you can wear and you're exercising your throat chakra that way, you know, inconspicuously, while you're breathing in, you're breathing out, call on Archangel Metatron specifically to remind you how we're all connected. As you see the geometric shape behind you, this is the tree of life. And, sp and specifically on helping you speak your truth. Thank you, Heavenly Angels. Thank you so much. And so I'm just going to ask for a prayer and prophecy for today. 
And I have no idea if this is how we're going to be guided to do it all the time, but I'm very grateful to be able to do it for sure. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Be determined. Stay the course. Don't give up. Thank you so much. Because you've got that pe public recognition that's coming and being a team player. So there is some sacrifice there. But I really feel in the long run it serves as your blessing. Thank you so much. Please show us. Heavenly angels, thank you. Okay. We are creating the number one, creator. Number one is when we begin on that path. And I don't think this one has ever come out before. This is beautiful. So this is when we have started on this new path. Vulnerability is needed. Awareness, co-creation, change. The creator brings a period of examining your values and faith. There is a strong desire for change and redirection in your life. Here, you are given the gift of awareness. A hidden truth may be revealed to you or a new understanding unveiled to you, unveiled to you in the near future. This newfound information will bring about necessary changes. Connect with the oneness of great spirit through your prayers and beliefs. Co-create the hopes and dreams you have envisioned by experiencing change and letting go of whatever is no longer serving your highest good. The creator energy is a gentle reminder that if you have faith, in divine source and yourself you can overcome any obstacle towards change having faith in the great mystery allows the necessary changes to unfold and our prayer for today dear loves is with the greatest of honor i open myself to the complete truth of who i am i trust divine source that you will assist me on my path Help me to build my dreams and develop my potential for the higher good. Have a beautiful day, dear loves, and I'll see you very soon. Love you. Hi, dear loves. I'm Nicole, and today is March 14th. So this is our spiritual guidance for March 14th. Thank you so much. Welcome. Heavenly angels, thank you so much. Thank you for allowing us to receive our spiritual guidance. Thank you so much. Oh, there it is. Wow, another air energy. That's awesome. So today we have the queen of air. And again, as we're clearing away all that no longer serves us, and being able to laugh at when we make those mistakes, and we see who has blessed us with our full moon on the... 12th of March, Archangel Haniel, who is also a master manifester. And so we're clearing away all that no longer serves us. And we are creating that which we desire. We manifest that blessing. She has what she's creating in the palm of her hand. And she doesn't need too much you know, more support. She's got what she needs already. So she doesn't need to be around many people. She's got one supporter there and is okay with it. And she's got this beautiful energy right here. 
blessing her in the spirit realm. And this is air energy. She's on top of it. This is the queen. And she's speaking her truth with, that looks like tanzanite there. But it's blue. It's our throat chakra. And she's got every resource that she needs. That means she's capable of speaking her truth and saying how she feels. And so today... Notice how that energy from the Virgo full moon is still circulating within you and what came to you that no longer serves you and that you are being removed from. You're being detached from it. It is in fact a spiritual awakening stage. Thank you so much, Heavenly Angels. Thank you. Thank you so much. And you know, honor your intuition. Archangel Haniel speaks to us through it. Also, wow, this is a new beginning. Again, we just got Creator, which is one yesterday. And today we have 10, which our new creation, our new path pathway, that which we are manifesting, our creation is blessed by a divine source, which is Alpha and Omega. So this is beautiful. This is new beginnings, thought process, inspiration with our air energy there. This is so exciting. Oh, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so blessed. I feel so blessed. I'm so grateful that you all encouraged me and divine source did all of our angels through, talk about confirmation that I was receiving. I was almost getting my hand slapped for not pouring more energy into providing spiritual guidance for you on a daily basis. So thank you so much for speaking up, speaking your truth, and requesting. As you look toward the east and watch the sunrise, feel the gift of inspiration growing within you. Be aware of a new path emerging before you. Before you take the first step, be well aware of your thoughts and energy that will ultimately shape your future as a self-fulfilling prophecy. Wow. Let the passion and inspiration of the East, which is the Holy Land, give rise to a fresh start and a new horizon. The winter months of inner reflection and rest are over. Spring is here, and it is time for making new plans. I could shout this. I could shout. Begin preparing the soil and planting the seeds for your tomorrows. And you know we are getting ready to plant our new seeds on the 27th of March in two weeks. The East energy signifies that opportunities are coming your way. So be bold in seizing them. No matter where our past has taken us, we are always we always have the choice to begin again. The East energy reminds us that change can bring us closer to our calling. Every day holds opportunity for growth, and every moment is a gift of life. Wow. This is our prayer, dear loves. Spirit powers of the East, fill my heart with the illumination of the rising sun. Help me to accept the opportunities for growth that are coming my way. The seeds I plant today will be the future for generations to come. Let me be mindful of the energy I put into my thoughts and into my life. Many blessings, dear loves. Please like, comment, subscribe. Please share our channel. And I'll see you tomorrow. Love you.